We're dangerous together, me and you. Wow. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? What are we doing today, Chloe? Well, we are making two bits of vegan ice cream. That's right. And why are we doing some vegan ice cream? Because I'm going through a time where I'm giving up dairy. So yeah, basically, um, we have kind of gone to this situation uh, due to a little, you had a bit of stomach cramps, didn't you, for a while? Mm -hmm. We went to the doctor. I said to Mrs. B, honestly, I think Chloe's just had a mountain of pizza this week. I don't think there's any problem. But the doctor advised not having any dairy for a bit. Mm -hmm. And so far, you've been great, right? Yeah. So uh, this could be something that is um, a regular thing, that you will be uh, eating vegan food. So it's obviously restricted quite a lot of the foods, or we've had to make adjustments. And one of which that you're craving it's ice cream. It's ice cream. And Chloe legitimately was going to make this anyway, weren't you? Yeah. So I was like, well, let's do this as a video. And also, we've got one that she was going to do without an ice cream maker. Yeah. And I found one with an ice cream maker to sort of compensate if you don't have one. So we should be making which flavours? Banana and chocolatey vanilla -y. So that's all. All in one, and a rocky road one. A rocky road. You're doing the rocky road. I am. And the cool thing is, you can have it, which is amazing. And I'm like, this is really cool because it's one of these life events that's kind of made us have to have this change. And we've been getting vegan cheese, which I actually love. And as some Patreon followers know, Chloe uh, made some vegan flapjacks as a bonus video recently. And you are keen to do your own channel. So we thought we would slowly tease in you presenting some videos, right? And mm -hmm. see if you enjoy it before maybe giving you your own segment on this channel or your very own one, right? Mm -hmm. So we will see. Um, there's no like pushy father. You will be the Chloe chef. It's not like that. It's just a bit of fun, right? And I like bacon, so... You like bacon? Yeah. Well, too late for no, that. No, no bacon. We thought, well, let's just film this vegan ice cream so there might be other people in a similar situation like that uh, and we will get going. Let's do the banana one first, shall yes. we? These ingredients? Yes. All right, what's this? So that is almond milk. Almond milk. I did a video once called, Can You Milk a Nut? What's that? What's so funny about that? <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> Maple syrup? Yeah, maple syrup. Yeah. And then we have vanilla extract. Okay, and you don't have to use maple syrup. You like maple syrup, right? Yeah. But because uh, golden syrup is not, n vegans can have that too, right? Mm hmm. Okay. And What's that? This is chocolate. Vegan chocolate. chocolate. Vegan chocolate. And we've got a bit of a mixture of milk and dark there, haven't we? Mm -hmm. You might remember we did the Ken and Jenny's ice cream book, which is amazing. There's a little bit about um, ice cream theory with the butterfat content. We mentioned that video. We have a heavy cream or big fat double cream it has a much creamier butterfat content compared to, say, skim milk. So you get a much more richer, creamy. And they also say about skim milk is kind of like the last thing they want to do. So it's going to be really interesting to see how almond milk compares. And if there's, well, there's no butterfat in an almond, is there? I don't think so. So there's one other ingredient, right, that we are holding in the freezer. We need bananas. With the fish fingers. <laughs> that a typical British freezer. Wow. <laughs> I think we should have sliced these before they got frozen last night, mate. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so Chloe is gonna chop up the chocolate. Uh, and I get to chop these up. So hopefully, oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Actually, the good thing about having the uh, bananas super frozen like that, they are going to make the ice cream freezing time slightly less the cooler they are. So uh, that's a that's a slight win. Although this is uh, <laughs> this is going to be fun. In a minute, it should come away. This is going to take me quite a while, Chloe. Okay. But can I just ask you, mate? Since you've been doing this, mm -hmm. what has been the most interesting thing that you've had that's sort of dairy free? When it was pancake day, I had. Pancakes made out of soy, soy milk. milk. Yeah, yeah. Which was so good. They were really good. And then actually, they did taste similar. I had a little taste and you just laced it with toppings anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> so if you do this step, folks, we will make notes on the recipe. Make sure you take the skin off because this is painstaking. It's getting easier every second as it thaws more, but um, my fingers are numb. What do you call a dinosaur's fart? <laughs> I don't know. A blast from the past. A blast from the past. Oh! Sorry. Those banana chunks, I've been peeled in a bowl and back in the freezer for the time being. My fingers were so numb. But if it, I'm just going to say, if this was actual chocolate, it would be the ultimate tease. It really would, wouldn't it? But you got through it. Yeah. And you managed to have the odd nibble here or there. Well. And I understand. Uh, so we're basically making the ice cream base, is it? Mm-hmm. Nut milk and the maple syrup. In goes that posh vanilla extract, look at that. It smells like hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh, it's so 
really strong. That'll be the vodka. Yes, in the vanilla extract, but that's gonna taste amazing. So four frozen bananas. Yeah. I reckon that is as smooth as a baby's bum, mate. That is your base mix done. How can a baby's bum be smooth? There are so many things I wanna to say to that. Next step, pour that into the uh, pre-frozen tub. Now we dump in our chocolate. All right. It smells banana-y. You have two choices, put the lid on, or give it to Boston. Put the lid on. All right, it's going in there with an extra frozen banana and our ice cream maker bucket, which is pre-frozen for the next ice cream. Now, ideally, we wanna leave that to set overnight, but being the hungry, pesky, non-dairy person you are at the moment, I think you wanna try it as soon as possible, right? So we'll give it a few hours to set. But before we jump onto the vegan rocky road, a quick update. Oh, yes. So folks, I am now part way through fitting the kitchen in the garden kitchen studio thing. This, right, is, 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 is nearly there. That is not the color of the units. They're actually gray. That's just a protective film. We have still got a, quite a bit to do. I've still got a toilet. We're gonna have a TV here for some shout outs and stuff hob, uh, fridge and freezer and oven under there. It's probably gonna be some sort of podcast area here, an outdoor cooking area there with pizza oven and stuff like that, Let's do some funky outdoor videos. And I might also have another additional kitchen studio premises to use as well as this. It should have been done by now, but we had a major problem. We had a flat roof put on this building, but when I was decorating it at the tail of last summer, despite having the window open, I've told this on Patreon, it was an absolute furnace in here. So a long story short, um, we've had to put some straps down, cut into the render and put a proper pitched roof on it to uh, act as a really well ventilated lid. So we're nearly there with that. It's really exciting times. Expect much more content. And because it's not our own kitchen, I can take my time a bit more with it. And Mrs. B is quite happy because, well, she gets to have her own kitchen. <laughs> Excited about that studio, mate? Yes. It's be our little place to hang out, right? We'll be cooking up a storm. Do, do. The basics from the Ken and Jenny's cookbook about ice cream theory is that you can make a very basic ice cream base with just milk, sugar, and eggs. Now, obviously, with it being a vegan recipe, we're not doing eggs, although you can have eggs, can't you? Yeah. Plot twist, but we're not gonna do that. So we have got the sugar, and again, emphasizing about the butter fat content, which helps the creaminess, we have got, instead, coconut milk. You can get low-fat alternatives to coconut milk. It's literally called lighter sometimes, but this is, you want the full fat stuff, because I'm thinking, I'm not certain, the fat content in this is gonna help the creaminess of this ice cream. We've got some almonds, these are optional, but hey, you like them, don't you? Yeah. Cocoa powder, which is really gonna transform the color. Some more of our vegan chopped chocolate. We've got a pinch of salt. Uh, yours didn't add that to it, did it? Nope. We're just relying on the bananas, I guess, but the salt does actually help uh, with the freezing temperature point, okay? Ooh. It might speed things up for us. We have got some vegan mini marshmallows. Ooh. They taste almost identical. Hey, they are the same. A couple of years ago, like trying to find even vegan marshmallows, a lot of places wouldn't sell them, so it is getting more easier to get it. So, yeah, it's good for you, mate. Yeah. Uh, that looks like honey. It is in the aisle in the supermarkets next to honey, and I've always wanted to know how to pronounce this, so let's ask Google. Agave. Agave nectar, which actually comes from a plant it's called the Blue Weber agave plant. There we are. So apparently, that's quite common in a lot of vegan recipes as well. It looks like the ocean. We are gonna do it all together in this again and leave the cold coconut milk to the last opportunity so it stays as cold as possible. Ooh! Look at that! That is the weirdest thing ever! Look at all these different sections. Oh wow, I wonder if it's gonna oh, be like a lava bubbles. lamp. Yeah, look! It seems so satisfying. Do you know what, if we wait here for a week, it might mix itself. I think we should use the blender. Go on then. We've got another tin of chilled coconut milk. So get us a bigger bowl and a whisk, and I'll go get the other can. That is gorgeous. It looks like some sort of cake. What happens if you put it in the oven? Do you want to find out? Maybe. You shouldn't ask me stuff like that, mate. We'll do it. We're dangerous together, me and you. There we go. It's literally just like the chocolate lake in Willy Wonka in his chocolate factory. Now, where have I heard that line before? It's like, you could think we're related or something. 
Yeah. I have really high hopes for this. Now, to help it, in the ice cream making machine that we've got in the freezer, we're gonna chill this just for about half an hour and then bung it in there, all right? That's when all the toppings go in. So whilst all this is happening, Chloe's little banana ice cream is doing its thing, so we'll do this first and this see it off, so yeah? This is satisfying, look. ASMR, folks. This is our loud ice cream maker that we made Doll Whip in, remember? Oh yeah! We did the Disney video. Hello. You can just about smell the memories. <sighs> so basically, time is of the essence. The bucket is in the freezer overnight for the ice cream machine. We're gonna pour in the chilled mix and get it going. It's gonna be loud, all right? Loud. Yeah. Even louder than me. <laughs> and now, commence ice cream making. 15 minutes later. We've got all our fillings in there. Oh yeah. And now it's thicker. We'll turn it on and uh, pour that as you go, all right? Ready? So that is just randomizing it up now. If it was uh, right at the start, it would have sunk to the bottom. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? Wow, and my t-shirt was stuck. Right, <laughs> folks, we could potentially have this one right now, but even with an ice cream machine, it's still moving it around, so it doesn't give it that full set. So we're gonna put this back in the freezer for maybe like 90 minutes, two hours. There's a reason for that, because you're going for an eye test. Chloe generally needs to go and get her eyes tested, right? You might have dairy-free eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So by the time you get back, if it's not too dark, we're gonna do a little taste test. You're still gonna eat it, but we might have to uh, film in the morning what it's like. The light should be okay, and we'll get to test both these ice creams once we've had a real good solid set. Rocky Road, and your banana one in there. Nice Ooh, one, mate. It actually smells like bananas. It smells like bananas? Yeah. Awesome. How was your eye test, Chloe? It was good. I'm over here. All right, so we've got three Rocky Roads and three of the banana ones, all right? And I think to give this the best chance possible, we should let it thaw a little bit longer. Because yeah. this stuff is ready to go. Should we yeah. do the Rocky Road first? Yeah. Let's see that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Does that taste like coffee? No. Oh. That tastes like chocolate ice that cream. That tastes like chocolate Rocky Road ice cream. Oh wow. That is amazing. Mm. It does look a lot like proper Ken and Jenny's. Mm. It's got the shine, the colour, the taste, the chunks. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. We should sell this at our local supermarket. I don't want to eat that banana one now because I don't think it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like banana. Yeah. Um, mm. But I really like it. Yeah. It's like a sort of baby food. It's like a banana sorbet. Yeah. This banana one is kind of like a wannabe smoothie, ice lolly, baby food, icy hybrid. It's actually mm. like an ice lolly. Mm. It is. Yeah? Yeah, it really is. It's two very, very different things. Yeah, and this one's got to be a bit better for you though. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so the other thing had that, that whole bottle of the nectar plant <laughs> syrupy stuff. I like the chocolate one, but I feel like it's so chocolatey and this one's just so nice and fruity, but... The good thing is for you, though, you can have both of them. Exactly, and they don't... Which is the whole point, right? They don't even, like, taste different. Great. They... And yeah, that uh, chocolate one really blew me away, but, like, it's good that you like the banana one, because I don't think I'll be having it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll word. have the Rocky Road one, yeah? Yeah, Daddy wants I, to eat I love this one. one. All right, awesome, mate. Any final words? Enjoy. Enjoy, right. Thanks, folks. Give them a try. We'll get Chloe to type the recipe up. You want to do that? Sure. Yeah, cool. Well, I'll do the spelling checks and uh, you can do the paragraph and uh, grammar, whatever that means. Me? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> can I do the spell check, please? Uh, <laughs> it's it's just there for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks a lot, folks. Uh, so being, like, dairy-free ain't so bad, is it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to eat some Rocky Road ice cream. See you later. Bye. Bye. We're just doing the right thing and scraping this up from the ice cream tub into storage, right? And I was thinking, I think I know why. I think it's that coconut milk. Because it was full fat. Yeah, what? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you use the light coconut milk, like, I don't think it's going to be like no. that. I think there is that fat element that helps. Yeah. Definitely. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, the almond milk is going to be more watery. Yeah, I agree. 
It's so good though. <laughs> Honestly, it's like this is like our little. I we have, now, yeah, we, we have a freezer like in our bedroom. That's, that's we have our own little mini bar. I'm just gonna sit and eat the rest Bruce of the Bruce Bogtrotter style. Oh, it's so good. Honestly, honestly, mind blown. 